Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. Let me address one thing first. For those of you who don't follow me on any type of social media, um, I'm blonde now and I cut my hair. It feels so good to cut my hair, honestly. Long hair is a pain to take care of. It really is. Um, and I do plan on going even lighter. This was just the first step because I did have box dye in my hair and I didn't want to ruin it by going too light all in one. So I do want to do it in steps. Anyways, I haven't filmed in a while. I want to say probably in like a month or so. I've just been busy with school and everything. I'm finally getting around to filming a video and I wanted to do like a cute little springtime look. And that's what I did today. Um, I kind of tried to stray away from the pinks because I have been dipping into the pinks a little bit too much and I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different but also something simple and not dramatic and not crazy. This is definitely something different for me. I don't ever wear anything on the lower lash line but I really do like the way that it came out and probably will be wearing this look to school tomorrow. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Now I know what you're thinking, Anessa, where are your eyebrows? Well, today I'm switching it up a little bit. I actually purchased these brow stencils that I wanted to try out. These are from Absolute New York. This place is actually right near my school and I love going in there. I'm probably in there at least once a week. They got bomb stuff and it's for cheap too. It's really good price i'm actually going to be using some of their products in this video i'm not sponsored but if you would like to sponsor me we can talk so it comes with three stencils there's a round arch medium arch and full arch i think i'm gonna try on the medium also i have their brow pencil which is bomb.com this is the super slim brow pencil also from absolute new york it comes with a thin little applicator and then a little spoolie on the other side okay how to use neatly organize brow hair with brow brush and ensure brow hairs fit inside the stencil cutout Fill in brows with pencil, powder, or wax of choice. Flip the stencil over and repeat for alternate brow. This is supposed to make your brow routine a little bit easier. You just place this, color it in, no preciseness needed. So I'm going to use the medium arch and I guess I'm going to place it and start drawing. I'm just gonna go back and forth. I wanna see how foolproof this is. In the front, I'm just gonna lightly draw the hairs. All right, now for the big reveal. I'm gonna be honest, I think this might not work, <laughs> but I'm a little nervous. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think this would work, but it it did. <laughs> I'm a little shocked. I mean, all I gotta do is just carve it out with a little bit of concealer and I think we'll be okay. Let me try the other one. Make sure that it's lined up exactly. See, my problem is what if your eyebrow doesn't fit into the arch? I guess people with little brows would get the most use out of this like if you have a thick brow and you already have your shape if it's not similar to the stencil i don't really see this working but this medium arch is pretty accurate for my shape that went much better than i expected my brows look pretty good <laughs> i'm gonna carve them out with concealer and i'll be right back i also forgot to mention this pencil is in the shade espresso right no joke you guys that made my brow routine like 18 times easier that brow arch i do recommend it only cost me like three four dollars so super cheap but my only problem is how would you know that those arches would fit your brow you know what i mean I kind of bought it out on a limb. I didn't think it would work for me, 
but that was like five minute brows and i usually take like a good 20 minutes from me this gets an a now i want to do something springy when you think of spring you think of pinks and purples and colors like that and in my last video i already did a pink smoky eye and if you follow me on instagram i actually did a pink and purple look recently so i think today's video is gonna be focused more on skin and more of like a natural spring look i'm gonna take some concealer to start off and prime my eyelids blend that out with my beauty blender uh, what i'm actually gonna do is go onto my face right now even though i did just prime my eyelids for springtime you want to look hydrated and dewy and fresh looking all together the one thing that i like to do is put just a tiny tiny bit of jojoba oil on my face before i get started um if you have oily skin which i have an oily t-zone so i wouldn't recommend this if you have oily skin personally i use this on the perimeter of my face where i get the most dry and then if you have oily skin but you still want to look fresh and dewy and glowy without overly exaggerating your oily skin i suggest using an oil control primer which is what i usually do also don't forget to hit your neck with that moisture i'm gonna take this primer from it says nika k new york but i also got this at absolute um and this is the ultra smoothing makeup primer put the tiniest bit on my fingertip rub that in between my fingers and pat it on the spots where i need the most pore filling up for foundation i'm gonna be taking my l'oreal true match lumi in the shade n1-2 neutral before i apply this let me pick my hair up shake it up real good and on the back of my hand pump a couple of pumps out and apply this with my beauty blender this foundation is my go-to for when i want to look dewy and healthy and glowy look dewy don't worry we're gonna tone it down not to look too crazy i'm gonna take some of my tarte shape tape concealer in the shade light neutral and hit my under eye and i'm gonna take the shade light sand and pop that right where i have the darkest part of my under eye and I'm actually gonna let it dry just a little bit before blending it out. That way it can give more coverage. You don't wanna let it dry down too much, otherwise it's not gonna blend right. Of course, gotta make that stupid face. And blend your concealer out. To set all of this, I'm going to take my Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter Powder in Translucent. Now the trick to staying dewy is only set what needs to be set, like your under eyes and your oily spots. Don't necessarily have to set the cheeks because we're trying to stay glowy and dewy. Oh my god, can we count how many times I said dewy in this video? I need to turn this into a drinking game, like a shot every time i say dewy i want to put this out there baking is not for everyone if you have dry skin baking is definitely definitely not for you it's just gonna make your makeup look cakey and crusty if that's the case and your skin is dry you just lightly set it with a fluffy brush and some powder you don't necessarily have to go in with your beauty blender and press the powder in this is only for if you crease easily or again if you have a oily skin i have a lot of problems with creasing so i do like to heavily set my makeup in specific targeted areas i'm gonna take a bronzer this is the sugar contour de force mini bronzer in the shade o2 woody wonder so i'm barely tapping my brush in here and carving out my cheeks just a little bit not really putting on as much bronzer as i normally would because i will show you guys in a second 
besides my forehead i'm not gonna put a lot of bronzer on but i you know like my forehead bronzed i'm gonna take this wet and wild color icon blush in the shade mellow wine with the same brush I'm gonna hit the pan real good tap off that excess smile and i'm really taking this blush up as my quote unquote bronzer i do like to contour with this for more springtime looks it just gives the face color and i'm going to use a different blush to kind of concentrate on the apples of my cheeks this is the milani baked blush in the shade luminoso smile it's really cute it's pinky it's subtle but it has a nice glow to it so you do at the same time look fresh and uplifted i'm gonna brush away this bake and i'm actually gonna take my beauty blender go back into the powder just a tiny tiny bit and carve out my contour nothing too crazy just for it to be a little bit more precise i'm gonna set my eyelids with some powder i've decided i'm not putting on any eyeshadow on my eyes i'm gonna take the bronzer that i used earlier on a fluffy brush and kind of just bronze up my crease a little bit I'm gonna take my Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette, and I'm gonna take this yellow. I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. And I want a lot of it. I want it to pop. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the Steel Glitter and Glow highlighter in the shade Monarch. On the same brush, just kind of... And, oh, that wasn't smart because now I got yellow on my applicator. Just a tiny bit right in the middle of that yellow. Just so that we add some shimmer. Ooh, that looks dope. Alright, I really like how this is looking so far. Now, I have been dying to play with this blue right here. So, I'm going to take that. And I'm going to spray my brush with some setting spray and pop that right on my lower lash line. But more of like the inner part. I don't really want any color on the outside. I like how this is turning out so far. It's really simple, but it's something different. It's something new. Um... I like it i think it's cute i'm gonna contour my nose a little bit i did change up my contour routine I actually learned a few tips and tricks from my friend on youtube here jada mitchell i will leave her channel down below as well if you want to go check that out she's really good at makeup um we actually go to school together so i'm gonna take a little bit of the butter bronzer from physicians formula in the shade light bronzer i'm gonna take this royal lang nickel angled eyeshadow brush this is my favorite to contour the nose with take some product just on the higher tip of the brush dust off the excess and you want to contour your nose with your head tilted up and kind of follow the angle but point it inwards if you have a fatter nose at the tip like mine you want to point the angle inward versus straight see where i'm going with this i usually contour it right here but now i'm bringing it more in you want to bring it all the way up that'll give you the illusion of a skinnier nose you can even tell because i mean i can tell in the mirror but i don't know if the light is kind of washing the contour out if it is i'm sorry <laughs> And then putting some bronzer on the bottom. Now I'm going to take my favorite highlighter in the whole entire galaxy. The Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I just dipped my fingernail into the product trying to open it. My cap broke off because I carry it with me literally everywhere I go. I'm going to take a little bit on a 
tiny little precise brush and hit my nose like just the tip just like that i'm gonna apply a little bit down my nose i used to not do this at all but i like putting highlight down my nose now and on my cupid's bow hit that brow bone i'm gonna take a bigger brush this is the morphe m510 dip this into the highlight and really just Glow it up. It is stunning. My favorite highlighter, hands down. If you want to glow everywhere on your face, pretty much, um, you want to go in with something like this. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Highlight. Take a fluffy brush and just hit the pan a couple times. <laughs> it landed on the product. I don't want to pick it up because it'll probably be crushed. Oh, stop. It survived. God, I'm so sorry. I'm going to take this highlight and dust it everywhere. And it'll really give you that glowy, dewy skin glow extra today so i'm gonna go back into the wet and wild highlight i'm gonna move my necklace real quick and pop out my collarbones i always love to do this trick when i'm wearing a shirt like this because it really makes your decollete what do you what do you call it the decolletage decollete i don't really know how to say it so sorry but it makes your chest pop now all that's left is to, okay, I am going to put on some gloss. Honestly, to be honest, I think I'm just going to look for my clear lip gloss. And I'm also going to pop on some lashes, so I will be right back. Popped on some lashes. These are the Divine 3D Plus lashes in soft silk. They're super curly. They're also from Absolute, actually. And in my opinion, these are probably some of the easiest lashes to apply. I found my gloss. This is the Ofra Clear Lip Gloss. This is the one we actually got in the kit. I love this gloss, but I despise the packaging. When you add the tiniest bit of pressure, it like explodes. But last but certainly not least, I am going to put some spray on my face. Um, I'm going to use the Rosewater and Glycerin Spray from Heritage Store. Now, this by no means will set your makeup. I use Rosewater Spray to kind of set down all the powders and make it look more skin-like. I'm going to shake this up real good. I'm going to cover my eyes. Spray. Spray it on my skin. Alright you guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, feel free to sound off in the comments section. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions on what you would like for me to do in my future videos. I would love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And yeah, thank you for sticking around to the end if you did. Um, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!